Good morning, ComArts. I'm your host, Joe Stegman. And I'm your co-host, Alicia Drum. And this is your Morning Cup of Joe. Today, we're going to be interviewing Miss Montellano about some college tips that she has for seniors. Hi, I'm Miss Montellano. All right, so what are some things that seniors should be doing to prepare for college? Well, definitely the most important thing is keeping the grades up and also start researching which universities would best be suited for you. So how do you think students should choose which college to go to? The most important thing is going to be the cost of tuition. It's important that the students meet with their families to determine how much the family can afford and also location. You have to consider moving out of San Antonio, moving out of Texas, um, you have to consider in-state tuition, out-of-state tuition. So those are the important things to choose from. And do you have any tips on scholarships? Um, there are several scholarships that seniors can start applying for now. You can go to the Go Center website and start looking and researching which ones you qualify for. And there are also some scholarships available in the Go Center. Okay. And what are some tips you have for applying for and using FAFSA? Maybe like some things that we don't know yet? Um, well, FAFSA is free money, so it is important that every senior completes a FAFSA. Um, like I said, it is free, so you could possibly get federal free money. Um, and it also allows the universities to determine if you qualify for additional funds as far as scholarships or they all have additional funds to give out to students if they don't qualify for scholarships. Okay, sounds good. And uh, lastly, what are your thoughts on senioritis? <sighs> senioritis hits us hard every year, um, but it is important for the seniors to know that the schools, the universities still acknowledge your grades that you're making throughout the school year. So it's not just what is sent in automatically on the transcripts, it's what you continue to do your senior year. So it is important to keep your grades up all year long. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much. That's all we have for today. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day. My name is Emerson Rendon. My name is Stephanie Perez. My name is Jonathan Sierra. My name is Taylor McClung. I am the girls cross country captain. Coach Garza. I graduated from Calm Arts in 2008. Best part, definitely the meets. It's so awesome to see like all my teammates come together. Right now we are rivaling with Brandeis. They've um, been pretty neck and neck with us at some of the meets that we've seen them at. They took a first place spot over us by a tenth of a second so we're ready to see them on Saturday and clinch the first place spot. The best part of the sport is like the camaraderie between the athletes. Our motto is not a team, we're a family and we really show that every day when we cheer, where we cheer each other on, we encourage each other, we give each other running tips. We're just one big family. Here, you going to home with me? Mm, I don't know. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. How? Let me show you. Whoa, why am I wearing neon and why am I outside? It's because it's the week of homecoming. Every day there's a different theme and on Monday it's neon. That's pretty cool, but like, how did you... What, this? Tuesday is Dynamic Duo, where you can dress up with your friends as any dynamic, well-known duo. That includes pairs and even groups. Nice. Anyways, don't forget to post with your real picture so you can be featured. For the next day, it's Marvel vs. DC. Rep your favorite superhero or villain on Wednesday. Ew. What? I like Marvel better. That's not the spirit. But this is, and you're all set and ready for the game. That's today? Yes, October 24th at Gus Stadium, seven o'clock. I might go. You should. And last but not least. Taiki Taurus. Uh-huh, and that's the whole week. Wait, you still haven't told me when the homecoming dance is. Does that mean you wanna go now? Yeah, I kinda wanna go. 
Okay, well, homecoming is going to be Saturday, October 26th. Tickets will be sold at the cafeteria. See you there. Hello, I'm Minerva Rosales, and I'm a Communication Arts High School counselor, and I serve as students with last name letters of L through Z. I was a, um, a department leader in my campus, Rayburn Middle School. I was a head uh, counselor for about 10 years. I love being at ComArth. Um, I started August the 5th, of course, and so everybody here, teachers, parents, staff, students, administrators, they're all so welcoming. It's a very positive environment. Um, it's just a very great place to be in. You can feel the positive vibes. So my hope for this student is to just kind of like sit back, take a moment, and kind of be mindful about where they really want to go so that I can be a source to help navigate them to that direction. I love learning, and so, which is another um, reason why I feel I'm a great fit for ComArts. Students are self-motivated, they're so self-determined, um, they just have a lot of like self-direction. And so, being, um, loving learning, so I ended up getting my PhD in Counselor Education and Supervision. So I ended up pursuing my LPC, which is a Licensed Professional Counselor by the State of Texas. So what that means is that it helped me hone in on my skills, but at the same time give me options so if in the future I choose to retire from school counseling, I can open up my own private practice. I'd just like to welcome the Communication Arts faculty, staff, and students uh, for making this a great environment to be in. So thank you guys.